Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Paco Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Kelezer and Nurchio on Honor Grounds, the latter edition. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the blue Terran player. It is Kelezer! And in the top right side of the map, we have the red Zerg player. It is Nurchio. All right, so Nurchio versus Kelezer here for you today from WCS Austin 2017. I think I've cast these guys before several times on the channel. Just a really consistent, stellar, outstanding Terran player out of Kelezer. Nurchio, one of the best foreign Zergs on planet Earth right now. We'll see how this one goes. The win rates have kind of been favoring Terran a little bit in this matchup, just a little bit. Within the tolerances, Blizzard likes to allow, so we'll see if Kelzer can ride that wave of momentum to a win in this game or not. This is from the round of eight of the playoff of the WCS Austin series, so we'll see how these players are going to do against each other. It is honor grounds. It is a four-player map. It really doesn't lend itself to Reaper openings that well, but we'll see if Kelzer does it anyway. He's got the gas timing to make it work. Expansion first out of Nurchio really can feel safe to do that, especially based on where it is. Although, again, we have seen players go for the expansion first on this low ground outside of the main base first. From time to time, just helps the creep spread move a little bit more quickly, but not today. Not today from Nurchio. He has other plans. Other plans in mind. Reaper done. And, oh, that's going to be a Reaper. Oh, subconsciously. I said that. I meant to say barracks. I meant to say barracks. All right, strap in for a really, really long Reaper name, ladies and gentlemen. I had this submitted, and here we go. This Reaper's name is Matt Murdock. Story, Matt Murdock, or better known as Daredevil, never wanted to kill somebody, but after his big love got killed by an insectoid-like creature, he flew into a rage, and an organization and an organization called SWND, which stands for StarCraft Will Never Die, gave him an opportunity to kill this thing. After years of training with his teacher, Hannibal Lecter, one of the engineers of the Death Star... What the what? The story... <laughs> Hannibal Lecter built the Death Star? Alright. Um, Hannibal Lecter about the Death Star. Oh, is that? Oh, I know what's going on there. That's Hannibal, and that's Rogue One. Right, anyway. Uh, he killed tons and tons of Zerg Protoss and even unloyal Terrans. His teachers were proud of him, and they were the heroes of the battlefield. But one day, Hannibal stuck under a rock after a missile targeted the wrong unit and hit a huge rock. And another problem was there. A huge army of Zerglings run directly to them. And Hannibal said to Matt, you must go, I can handle it. But Matt didn't want to leave him. He got an idea. He used his last KD-8 grenade, and Hannibal was free. They wanted to leave the planet as fast as possible. Luckily, an empty medevac got sent by Admiral Akbar, so they escaped. A Reaper will never die without a purpose. That's the last thing you will hear before a Reaper dies. And now a minute of silence for all the Reapers who die for a peaceful galaxy. I hope you had fun reading this. Falcon. Wow. All right, so it's Matt Murdock is what I got out of that. <laughs> and a mixture of... Of Marvel Cinematic Universes and Star Wars stuff too, which, hey, you know what? Disney owns it all. Disney straight up owns all of that now, so that's entirely a possibility. Meanwhile, Reaper was doing stuff while I was reading. And again, the queens were out, the lings were out, nothing actually died. Reaper did some damage, didn't really take much damage because of combat drugs. And a third hatch got planted by Nurchio in the meantime. Factory done, Starport on the way out of Kelezer, getting stim for his Marines. This looks all the world like a five-minute double medevac drop of Marines. However... However, Zergs have kind of figured out how to stop that one. I, the high-level Zergs, at least, have really been able to deal with that pretty darn well. We'll see if is going to bother with it. Although, if they don't bother with it, they usually go for a Hellion opening. Which, this opening does not look like a Hellion open, even, opening, even in the tiniest of bits. The reactor is being built on the factory, but that will be given to the starport. The factory does all the hard work, and the starport gains all of the benefit there. Ling, speedling, flipping, flying with his little wings on his back. Trying to take this on the watchtower, but guess who's there? Matt Murdock. Matt Murdock is there. Have you guys watched Daredevil, the Netflix original series? Pretty good. Pretty good stuff, as it turns out. There is the uh, hmm, what the Defenders Netflix series where he puts together, let's see, puts together Jessica Jones and Daredevil and Luke Cage and Iron Fist together into a group. I did not watch Luke Cage and I did not watch Iron Fist. Unfortunately, that may be a sad, sad tale, but it is the truth. It is the truth, so I don't really care about Defenders all that much. Although I do like do like Daredevil and Jessica Jones, so maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if it's worth it or not. Ling's here just scouting out. Is Kelezer moving? The answer is yes. It is the double medevac action here. Going to pick up some Marines. Almost fill this up. This is almost two full medevacs of Marines, but it gets out a little bit earlier, so that's just fine. Four minutes and 50 seconds. Moving across. The Reaper has revealed the location of the Zerg base, but Roaches are already out. Oh, no. Roach is already here. 
the lair is already done as well. I just don't see this working out too well for our medevac flying friend. Trying to actually going to unload here and press the front where the roaches already are. Uh, the roaches decide, I don't want to engage. We've got more friends coming. One roach does die. Creep tumors picked off as well, even without a scan. That's actually going to be pretty darn worth it right there. Roach is trying to do this thing, but getting killed pretty easily. Queens showing up. That's going to chase the medevacs away. The queens are not there for the marines. The queens are there for the medevacs. Roaches and lings saying, get out. Get out of my neighborhood. I don't like your style. Plus one, plus one on the way for the marines and the marauders and the ghosts, if there happen to be any. Plus one, or not, uh, combat shield, rather. On the way as well. And that is a five-minute infestation pit out of Nurchio. I am loving this. I'm loving the five-minute infestation pit. Plus one ground carapace coming in for the Zerg player as well. Got Widow Mines, got Marines, got more Medivacs working on a third base here at the five-minute mark. And okay, so all this stuff tells us we're going to see a Marine Marauder Widow Mine Medivac composition here. Queens shoving away the Medivacs at the natural base as well. Throwing up a Spore Crawler. Yes, Nurtio is not afraid of static defense. Not afraid of static defense at all. Again, he has one Spore Crawler. <laughs> It's at his natural. He doesn't have any others anywhere else. But by golly, he has some static defense because he knows how important it is. More medevacs coming across the map here for Kelizer. Is it going to work for plus one, plus one? It's very close to being done. Combat shield's just about done as well. There it is. Combat shield is complete. And ground carapace wrapping up in 13 seconds. Whereas infantry armor and weapons is right behind it. There it is. There's weapons level one and armor level one coming in as well. So great, great timing. They're out of these dudes. Roaches and Lings coming right on in here. Widowmine at the front. Gonna fire. No, it doesn't. Pulls back in time. Does Nurtio get out of here with your Widowmine action? Overseer in the sky. Trying to be used against these Widowmines. Straight up Roaches against straight up Marines. The Overseer does get killed. Cancelled. Refunding some of, the, some of the money here. Trodes Nurtio. This is a pretty straight up attack. Out of Kelizer, man. These Queens, the Infestors, don't have enough energy for fungal growth because they didn't. Get the Pathogen Glands upgrade. Unfortunately, these Marines are slowly getting whittled down, but they're definitely taking Roaches with them and taking the Infestors down as well. No Infestors, no! Yeah, one Infestor with one hit point, and it does get killed by the Marines. Oh, that hurts! To lose those Infestors after doing nothing. Zero damage done by those Infestors. Widowmine fires, hit a Roach there, Overseer there to get rid of them as well. Pretty darn cost efficient so far, I would say, by Kelizer. Resources lost here, about 1,500 for the Terran player, compared to 2,600 for Nurcio. It's a lot of dead stuff. 24 Marines for 19 Roaches and 2 Infestors and 8 Lings and 3 Creep Tumors. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. But 4th base on the way from Nurcio. The important thing is that not dead. Is that Nurcio is not dead. 3rd base is landed happily. Mining 4th base under construction by Kelizer as well. These high-level ZVTs, man. They really are just non-stop action fests for the most part. That's a hive. An eight-minute hive from Nurcio. Getting plus one melee attack as well. Possibly going to try to go for ultras. Replacing his infestors because... Mm, really shouldn't have been at the front in the first place. They didn't have enough energy to do anything. They just provided a nice, big, fat, squishy target for Kalazar. Unfortunately, some roaches here at the natural base. Spore crawler actually going to be the difference there. Enough to chase away these two medevacs. See? Static defense, you guys. Get it. Get the static Defense, plus two, plus two on the way for the infantry units of Kelizer. Roaches have plus one armor. They do are morphing themselves into Ravitors, at least the wounded ones are, which is very smart, because when they come out as Ravitors, they have 100% health. Hey, that's a good magic trick. That's a good trick. I'll try spinning. Ultraless Cavern, there it is. Ultraless Cavern on the way from Nurcio. Ah, yes, I do love Ultraless Caverns, especially if you have fungal growth available here. Trying to attack the fourth base is Kelizer, but too many Roaches, too many Ravitors. Got some Widow Mines, but it's just not going to be the difference. Not going to be enough. Where is that Overseer? Is your Overseer dead? No. Overseer is just up here at the natural base, which is fine. You need to come down to the fourth, though. There's there's a, uh, a Widow Mine here. It's going to try to kill your queen. Never mind. Overseer pops just in time. Just in time. Burrow being researched by Nurcio. Ultraless Cavern. That is a really fast Ultra Cavern here. Nurcio is managing to stay alive in a crazy situation with a lot of pressure and tech 2 ultras really fast as well big attack here at the fourth base marines marauders coming in that plus two plus two is not done yet but it's very close about 10 seconds to go and i think kelzer might pull back and wait for that to finish because that's going to help immensely marines just fire so quickly that upgrades really stack really stack very nicely nurcio trying to take a fifth base at the under 10 minute mark against kelzer feeling extremely confident here it is up 179 to 164 total supply. It is 79 to 64 harvesters as well. Not an interesting 
Interesting little uh, little doodad there. Corrosive Bile does take down a Widowmine and some Changelings. Interestingly enough, another attempted bigger drop here this time with five Metavax swooping on up to this natural base. There's an Ultra on the ground. Ultra right on top of your stuff with Lings mixed in as well. Kelzer does not like those odds. Decides to get the heck on out. Widowmine got in there. Killed some Lings, but eh. All in the grand scheme of things, not a big problem. A lot of more Spore Crawlers coming in from Nurchio at that natural base. He really hates getting dropped there. And you know what? So far, so good. Three Spore Crawlers on the way, too. So he hates having to run back to defend it. I think that's what's going on here. There's the Fungal. Oh, there's the Fungal. And there's the Ultras chewing away. Oh, that is just the quickest way to lose your bio, except for Banelings, I guess. Fungals and Ultras, man. A potent combination for sure. Ravitors trying to hit stuff at the same time. But if you don't have the Fungals... You can do this kiting thing all day, and your Ultras die fairly quickly. As it turns out, some Fungal Bile. There is an Infester down in here somewhere. Burrow moving. Did she die? She was in here. I saw her. There she is. There you are, Infester. Not enough energy for a Fungal. Not even close. Ultra Let's Go Over extends just a little bit. Decides to pull back to his friends. It's going to, going to be Ling, Ravager, Ultra, Infester, which is a pretty darn good combination. Working on plus three armor. Working on centrifugal hooks. Getting some Banelings in speed, which again, Fungal with Banelings, really potent combination. Fifth base could be under assault here by Kelezer. He's thinking, thinking about doing some damage here. He's going to knock down these rocks that allow him access, a little bit easier access to it. And a Greater Spire coming in from Nurchio as well. Crikey, here come the Marines. They are going after this hatchery. It does so fast. It dies so quickly. There's the Fungal, and here come the Lings, and here come the Ultras. And this group has forced to pick up and get the heck on out of there. Get out of there. Reinforcing units trying to join as well. Just a bad look. Just a bad look when there are Ultras smashing your face in. Seven kills. Three kills on these Ultras. Four kills on that one as well. Five kills. Max that army from Nurchio. Might as well use it. Might as well use it for something. Kells are good positioning on the low ground. Going to go ahead and chase away Nurchio's units here. As he's going to go ahead and fall back to the creep. Creep spread hasn't been, hasn't been incredible to this point. But that's all a-okay. Lings here uh, against these rocks. Ultras smashing them down as well. Also on this gold base, trying to double expand to two gold bases here at the 12-minute mark. Looks like he's trying. Looks like he's trying. He's a lot of minerals. Might as well do it, man. Might as well expand like crazy. Meanwhile, Kelzer hasn't expanded since his fourth, which came up... I mean, it feels like 10 minutes ago that that fourth base came up, but wasn't that long ago. Oh, there are Corruptors in the sky for Nurtio as well. What does this guy not have? What does he not have that he needs against the Terran? He's making Banelings now. 38 Banelings, too. That's a lot of Banelings. Forcing a cancel on one of these gold bases. There are some Liberators, two Liberators, but again, the Corruptor count seems to be enough to chase them away fairly, fairly easily here. Going for it. There's the Fungal on the units. Corruptors focusing down the Liberators first of all. Ultra's actually dying fairly quickly. This army is pretty darn scary with their plus three, plus three now finishing just now. Four Kellas or five drones died here at this fifth base, and suddenly Nurtio's on the back foot just a little bit. He needs his Banelings to connect, is what he needs them to do, but amazing target firing. Oh, came forward a little bit. That's not what you want to do. Kellas or Widowmine's going to fire. No, they're not on cooldown. Oh, wait, maybe they are. They're... Oh, the cooldown is not there in time to do that work. Four Ultras on the way, plus three Ground Carapace coming up as well. These Ultras are going to have that seven armor. That is so nice. So nice against Terran. The Marauder count is pretty high, though. Dang, that is 17 Marauders with plus three, plus three, and Concussive Shell, which does not affect Ultras as they are massive units. Coming in is Nurchio. The Banelings trying to get some good splash damage here on these units. Corrosive Biles taking down the Liberators. Good target firing, though. A lot of Banelings just straight up dying here as well. 19 total have just died without hitting their intended target. Or that's the assumption there anyway. More Ultras, more Corruptors in here. At the same time from Nurtio, but Kelzer just keeps sending reinforcements across the map. Just streaming in a non-stop reinforcing stream. Corrosive Biles taking down the remaining Liberator, which is going to be useful here, but he really needs Fungals. He just can't afford to wait for them. Unfortunately, Kelzer's army is not huge, but he's going to try to take down this fourth base with it anyway. The Liberators, two more Liberators showing up to the shop. They are a little bit too close together. One Liberator doesn't end up getting killed. I think Corrosive Bile was able to hit. Both of them there at a time. Suddenly it's 182 to 142 total supply. Nurchio is in a lot of trouble here. The Banelings, can they hit? The Ultras get murdered though. Good pickup by Kelezer. Doing as much damage as possible. Then picking up and pulling back. Allowing the Metavax to heal his units up to the point they need to be. But Nurchio does have this gold base. He does have his fifth base up as well. And still sitting on four bases is Kelezer. He does not show that he has any intent 
at all of expanding here. Small army of lings and ultras and banelings and some queens and corruptors. I don't know if it's going to be enough. The widow mines firing on the banelings here, and Nurcio forced to retreat once again. He's got three more ultras in production, but I just ever since he lost those queens, ever since he lost the ability to fungal, it's just been a different battle with these ultra. This ultra has zero kills before it dies. Zero. Zero kills on that super expensive unit. The fourth base of Nurcio does fall instantly to this Terran army. Widowmine's mixed in here as well. It's 182 to 130 total supply. Trying to go around the backside and get rid of some of these reinforcing units out of Kelezer and doing fairly well with it. But man, look at all the damage getting poured into these Ultralisks as fast as they pop out. They're getting murdered as well. It's just his income is healthy. His income's pretty healthy. Oh, maybe it's not. He needs to move some of these drones uh, over to that base. But regardless, regardless, Kelzer moving into this gold base of Nurcios. He's going to take it down. These guys are really overstimmed, but they still do a ton of damage regardless. That gold base is now gone. No gold base is owned by Nurcio at this point. What an absolute turnaround at this point of time out of Kelzer. It's 195 to 111 total supply. These guys have been incredibly cost efficient. Their medevacs... Their medevacs are overhealing. No, there we go. Nurcio with a good game. Nurcio is defeated and Kelezer is victorious in this ZVT. Wow. Wow. I thought Nurcio had a great handle on that game for most of it. He expanded as much as he wanted. He got the tech that he wanted. I just think, again, it came down to the infestors. He had lost six infestors, had no more at the end. The fungals help immensely for those ultras just to be able to get close enough to attack the enemy. If the enemy is as good as Kelzer is, they're going to kite you. They're going to kite you into oblivion with these marauders and these marines with full attack upgrades. These poor medevacs, five energy, three energy, one energy. And that was it. Just a game of cat and mouse there. Kelzer was up to it with his APM of 359 compared to 356. For Nurcio, pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. 17,000 resources lost by the Terran player compared to 25,000 resources lost for Nurcio. Including 6,000 gas compared to 3,000 gas for Kelzer. Uh, 200 lings died. 15 ultras died. That's a lot of ultras. 41 roaches in exchange for 146 marines, 47 marauders, 6 liberators, 9 widow mines, and a reaper. Including 3 bases. If you're killing bases as a Terran in a TVZ, you're in a good spot. Alright, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.